Russia may invade Sweden's island in the Baltic Sea. It is already being warned. Russian President Vladimir Putin has his eyes on the island of Gotland. This has been stated by Swedish Commander-in-Chief Mikhail Biden, according to Global Y News media outlet. It is noted that concern was further ramped up, showing Gotland was just one part of Russia's ambitions in the Baltics in the last few days when Russia published a document suggesting that it needed to reassess the maritime borders in the Gulf of Finland. Global Y News said that the draft decree by the Russian Defense Ministry, which had since been removed, proposed that Russia wanted to revise its borders with Finland and Kaliningrad and expand its territorial waters. Gotland holds a strategically important location of being in the middle of the Baltic Sea and only 300 kilometers from where Russia's Baltic fleet is based. Sweden joining NATO and giving it access to Gotland has significantly increased the alliance's ability to deploy and sustain its forces in the Baltic Sea region, and this could make a decisive difference in the defense of Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Finland and Poland. According to Global Y News, because of its strategic importance for most of the Cold War, Sweden maintained a large military presence on the island. But Gotland was demilitarized in 2005 in order to promote peace and cooperation in the Baltic region. This gesture of goodwill was immediately tested by the Russians as, not long after doing so, Russian men who did not fit the usual Gotland tourist profile began regularly visiting the island. After Russia invaded Crimea in 2014, Sweden took significant steps to protect itself, reintroducing 150 permanent troops on the island in 2016. By 2018, Sweden had expanded the number of permanently placed troops to 400, equipping them with CV-90 armoured vehicles and Leopard 2 tanks. Air defence systems were also reactivated by 2021. The geographical distances in the Baltics are small, and if Russia seized Gotland in a crisis, it could dominate the Baltic Sea region. This would make it very difficult for the West to provide reinforcement to the Baltic states by sea or by air. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky visited Kharkiv and visited the publishing house that was hit by a missile attack by the Russian army on May 23. Zelensky said that as a result of the incident, the industrial complex was destroyed and tens of thousands of books were burned. Recalling that seven people died and 21 people were injured, the president said that Russia is waging a war against humanity. Russia's terrorism must never go unanswered. 50,000 books were burned as a result of the attack on Kharkiv. It shows that Russia is waging a war against humanity and aspects of normal life. Russian terrorists kill children and adults, destroy towns and villages, and wreak havoc in places where normal life once existed. Russian terrorism must be defeated. All we need for this is the determination of Western leaders, sufficient air defense systems to protect Ukrainian cities, and all our long-range strike systems, says Zelensky. Поэтому учебники, литература и так далее сегодня просто это национальная проблема становится. Мы не сможем их подпечатать в этом году 100% в срок, если мы быстро не восстановим.